Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's find out what, how. <laughs> Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's find out what the integral of e to the ax dx is. And we're going to use the same technique as in the previous video. Of course, we need to figure out what to do with that constant in front of the x and the exponent. Again, let's start with e to the x can be written as an infinite sum of 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus and so forth. And of course, this is over 1 factorial. And that means that e to the ax is equal to, all we have to do here is replace every x by ax, and this then becomes 1 plus ax over 1 factorial plus and you can see the pattern here. Now we're ready to integrate. What we're going to do now is write that the integral of e to the ax dx must be equal to the integral of the right side. So the integral of the quantity 1 times dx. All right, that we can integrate. The right side can be integrated, and it will look as follows. This would be x plus ax squared over 2 factorial plus a squared x cubed over 3 times 2 factorial plus a cubed x to the fourth over 4 times 3 factorial plus and then finally plus some constant of integration. All right. We don't have it quite in the right format to turn that into e to the ax yet. But let's see what we can do. We can multiply and divide the whole right side by, I'm going to move this equal sign over a little bit here, write this as a times, or mm, better yet, better yet, how about 1 over a times a. So I haven't really changed anything. I multiply this out, I get 1 and multiply anything by 1, you simply get the same thing. But now I'm going to multiply everything on the right side by a and see what we get. So this becomes 1 over a. Okay, all right. Okay. So this becomes equal to 1 over a times ax plus a square x square over 2 factorial plus a times c1. What I want to do now is make this look like this, which means I need a 1 in the front, which I don't have, but I do have a constant in the back there. What I can do is I can say let a c1 equals c plus 1. I can do that. I can make it into any constant because c can be any constant, a can be any constant, and c1 can be any constant. So when I do that, I can rewrite this as 1 over a times, I can write the 1 in the front, 1 plus ax plus, and in the end, simply a constant of integration. Or actually, what I can do is I can simply take that constant integration and write it on the outside of that bracket so I don't have to multiply times 1 over a because then I have to adjust it again. But now I realize that what's inside the brackets here is simply e to the ax. That means that the integral of e to the ax plus, not plus, but times dx is going to be equal to 1 over a times what's inside the brackets, which is e to the ax, plus a constant of integration. So there you have it. The integral of e to the ax dx is simply 1 over a times e to the ax dx. And that's how we can show how to do that.